Well, there finally seems to be something that Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill can agree on, and that is this whole concept of the Ministry of Truth. This is a really bad idea. It's a very unconstitutional idea. But of course, that's not going to stop Joe Obama Biden from at least trying. And using one of his henchmen, Alejandro Mayorkas, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, for coming before Congress and explaining what it is exactly that this Board of Governance over Disinformation is going to do and not do. Of course, they assure us it has nothing to do with you or me or private citizens. This is all about stopping disinformation from, can you guess? Can you guess? Is it right on the tip of your tongue? Russia. And of course, foreign entities which are trying to, quote, destroy the national security and pose a threat to the United States. So, Rand Paul asked for a basic definition of what is it that this disinformation looks like that's going to, well, trigger an alarm at the Department of Homeland Security, and then exactly what are you going to do about it? Do we have policies? Do we have guardrails? Do we have yeah, standards? But here's the to problem. Ensure, we can't even I mean, agree. We can't even we, agree what disinformation is. This is you well, can't even agree that it was disinformation, that the Russians fed information to the Steele dossier. If you can't agree to that, how are we ever going to come to an agreement on what is disinformation so you can police it on social media? You know, whether or not you like all of Rand Paul's politics and positions he takes, you got to absolutely love the way he deals with people like Fauci and now this clown. I mean, he basically says, hey, Captain Obvious, before you can actually, quote, solve this problem, you got to tell us what the problem actually is. I just, I love the way he talks to these people. He does not allow them to go in there and act as if because they have some title that, you know, you got Tony Fauci with I Am Science, you know, Mayorkas could go in there and say, I am security. I know exactly how to keep this country safe. Where have we heard that before? Was that a was that a Jack Nicholson character in A Few Good Men? Yeah, it, it sounds kind of familiar that way, doesn't it? So Rand Paul pushing back saying, you know, this idea that you guys are going to decide what is and what is not disinformation, and yet to this day, you, and he was referring to those with inside the intelligence community, will not admit, you will not say that the dossier that you used for two years against President Donald Trump, which inflamed the media, resulted in an investigation, and an impeachment process, you will not admit that that was disinformation. The whole country knows it was disinformation. Everybody knows it was disinformation. You won't even admit that. So how are we going to trust you on anything else? And they go back and forth. And Rand Paul even asked, so if I post something about cloth masks being ineffective, he said, which they are, is that disinformation? And they go into this back and forth. And then finally, Rand Paul asks the big question. I mean, he absolutely nuked the secretary of Homeland Security. I think you've got no idea what disinformation is, and I don't think the government's capable of it. Do you know who the greatest propagator of disinformation in the history of the world is? The U.S. government. Are you familiar with McNamara, the Pentagon Papers? Are you familiar with George W. Bush and the weapons of mass destruction? Are you familiar with Iran-Contra? I mean, think of all the debates and disputes we've had over the last 50 years in our country. We work them out by debating them. We don't work them out by the government being the arbiter. I don't want your guardrails. I want you to have nothing to do with speech. You think we can't determine, you know, speech by traffickers is disinformation? You think the American people are so stupid they need you to tell them what the truth is? You can't even admit what the truth is with a steel dossier. I don't trust government to figure out what the truth is. Same. Government is largely disseminating disinformation. What more can you say to that? That was absolutely jaw-dropping. You know, there was a time 
that liberals would talk about, whether it be McNamara, Iran-Contra, weapons of mass destruction, that we were constantly being lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to by the intel community, by the military-industrial complex, by the very powers that be in Washington, and now all of a sudden there's been this flip, and it's the liberals across the country and even on Capitol Hill that are talking about we just need to follow what the experts say. We need to just line up and do as we're told because everything that comes out of their mouth is as if they're defecating marble. This, these, these words are infallible. And it's now Republicans and conservatives saying, hold it, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. To quote Ronald Reagan, government isn't part of the problem. Government is the problem. Rand Paul did exactly what you would think, oh, I don't know, even one of the progressives on Capitol Hill, one of the members of the squad, one of the the the, the bastion saints of socialism. Oh, that would be, uh, um, um, you know, the guy from Vermont, uh, Bernie Sanders. Shouldn't they be the ones pointing out, hey, Captain Obvious, the United States government is the biggest disseminator of disinformation. You guys put out more propaganda and falsehoods than anybody else. We don't have news in our country. We have propaganda. We are the most propagandized society on the planet. And it was a conservative, Rand Paul, who pointed that out and made the Secretary of Homeland Security look absolutely stupid, incompetent, and just another gross liar from the intel community. You know, when they were asked questions like, did you actually spy on Donald Trump? Well, uh, no. Are you ever actually listening in on the phone calls and reading the text messages of average, ordinary citizens? Well, uh, no. And then, of course, Edward Snowden blew all that out of the water. And now he's having to live as an exile overseas. Julian Assange has a... How much has he exposed? And yet... He's considered a criminal. So when these people who criminalize the Edward Snowdens and the Julian Assanges tell you, we will be the guardians of truth, you better realize that's trouble. What's next? Thought crimes are. <laughs>